David Letterman fully expected to take over Johnny Carson's 11.30 time slot as host of The Tonight Show after his apprenticeship on the show following Carson. And when he didn't get it, he jumped ship to CBS. And these uh, reports chronicle that event. And the final one from the next morning, January 15th, 1993. Harry Smith interviews Dave about it. The rest of them are just, uh, you know, news reports and showing the press conference. Still a good time capsule of David Letterman history. and welcome to Showbiz Today. Bella Shaw is off and I'm Lauren Sidney. Well, it's official. David Letterman is packing up his stupid pet tricks and moving to CBS. The switch from NBC will reportedly double Letterman's $7 million salary and give him the 11.30 p.m. time slot he has coveted. Sherry Sylvester reports. CBS Brass called it a Red Letterman Day as the network pulled off one of the biggest heists in television history, swiping the king of late night from his home network. As some of you may know, uh, for the last year and a half, uh, I've, I've kind of been interested in uh, doing a show a little earlier than the one I'm doing now. And uh, that reality has come to pass uh, here today, and I just want to at this point thank these people for certainly their patience uh, I mean could it have dragged on a little longer 1992 <laughs> was not a great year for NBC as much as we wanted to keep Dave we really weren't prepared to offer him the thing that he most wanted in addition to the 11:30 p.m. time slot CBS is paying Letterman a reported 14 million dollars um, I, I get enough for gum. <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a very, very generous offer. But uh, also, I, I have to say that um, money and uh, financial uh, considerations have never in my life been uh, the prime motivating force. Reports of an 11th hour scenario in which NBC offered Letterman the 11.30 slot now occupied by Jay Leno were denied by NBC at a West Coast press conference. Leno arrived on his motorcycle to address reporters. I have the job. What we're celebrating is I haven't been fired. Okay, do you understand that? I already have the job. But when asked about job security, Leno was realistic. Uh, in the way that I think Saddam Hussein feels secure, yes. I think that I have a bunker. While Leno says that the competition between he and Letterman will be friendly, the competition between NBC and CBS is expected to be anything but. NBC says when Letterman leaves, he cannot take the late night title with him, and he will have to negotiate for such concepts as his own stupid pet tricks and top ten lists. But NBC cannot copyright Letterman's humor. Saturday Night Live producer Lorne Michaels will take the hour vacated by Letterman. No host has been named. And while Johnny Carson's departure was a sentimental one, Letterman's may be a less fond farewell. What I'll miss most, uh, I guess the, the back rubs from Irving R. Levine. Sherry Sylvester, CNN, Santa Monica, California. Singer Bobby Brown. Star Wars is taking on a new meaning as NBC's David Letterman jumps ship to CBS. He'll be competing against Jay Leno's Tonight Show. David Sheehan has more on Dave's new deal. Thank you, folks. Welcome to the program. My name's Dave Letterman. Don't mind me. I'm just a temp. <laughs> <laughs> NBC will not give the 11.35 late night time slot to David Letterman, choosing instead to stay with Jay Leno as host of The Tonight Show and cutting Letterman loose to take his show to CBS, setting up a whole new rivalry that Leno told me he is ready for. I think it'll be real good competition. Uh -huh. You know, when you go against somebody that's good and funny as Dave, you're both trying to put out a quality product. You know, when you have to compete against... Uh, you know, some variation of studs or a dating show where people <laughs> yeah. hold up their dresses. I don't know what to yeah. do there. Yeah. You know, I don't know how to compete against that. Yeah. But if you're going against quality programming like Nightline or David or, and you win, hey, I think that, that looks real good. Letterman, meanwhile, was beaming over his new $14 million deal at CBS. And I just want to, at this point, thank these people for certainly their patience. 
Uh, I mean, could it have dragged on a little longer? Uh, and, and I want to thank them for their support. And uh, also, uh, I would like to thank them for their generosity because... Uh, <laughs> David Sheehan for NBC News. And no matter which talk show you watch, the real fun and games stay right here on NBC Nightside. Right, and a little news mixed in. But for the past few months, David Letterman has had network executives doing stupid human tricks. Now the begging and barking are over. Here's the lowdown. My name's Dave Letterman. Don't mind me. I'm just a temp. <laughs> Last night, Letterman was joking about his move to CBS later this year, but his new two-year deal with the network is nothing to laugh about. He'll be pulling down more than $14 million a year, and his new late-night show will air on CBS at 11.30. Reports also say Letterman rejected a last-minute offer from NBC to replace Jay Leno as host of The Tonight Show. Meanwhile, Leno was also joking about his status last night with audience members who braved the rain. Remember, I know you wait out in the cold, it's damp. There's no promise there's even going to be a place for you here in Studio One. Now I know how you feel. Yeah, boy, it can be rough. Yeah. Singer Harry Connick Jr. was arrested. In case you haven't heard, he's coming here. David Letterman is moving his big toothy grin and his whole late night show to CBS. Bill Lagatuda has more. David Letterman told his audience last night all the rumors were true. June 25th will be our last show here at NBC. Now, do you really mean that, ladies and gentlemen? Well, what are you prepared to do to back it up? And, and, and we'll uh, shortly thereafter be taking this program to a, another network. Can I mention this? Taking it over there to uh, CBS. To get him to make the switch, CBS will reportedly pay Letterman $14 million a year and give him what he really wanted, a show that runs an hour earlier at 11.30. I would like to thank them for their generosity. NBC would have had to dump Jay Leno from The Tonight Show to keep Letterman. Last night, Leno said he was happy to be staying, but seemed a little steamed that the Letterman crisis had dragged on so long. Thank you. Welcome to NBC, which stands for Never Believe Your Contract. Thank Leno you. and Letterman will go head to head perhaps as early as August, at which time late night viewers must make a choice Leno's more mainstream nice guy approach, or David Letterman of the Monkey Cam, the top 10 list, and now one of the highest paid people on TV. Bill Lagatuto, CBS News, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> Six minutes past the hour. Mark McEwen has this morning's weather. We're going to have a lot more with David Letterman in just a couple of minutes. Harry's exclusive interview with David Letterman. He staked him out in the hallway short, last night. Short, exclusive. But very short. good, very strong. Yeah. I've worked. Segment one this morning is the most important story in the whole world. No, not Amy Fisher, not even the Royals. It's David Letterman coming to CBS. It's true. David Letterman and his late night gang are moving from NBC to CBS this summer, and they made it official at a news conference last night. Would you look this way, please? I'll let his photo mat open. <laughs> I never dated Amy Fisher. I fixed her car. I helped her with her homework. We'll try and work the name Buttafuoco into the title. Eh? <laughs> Get that big, that's, there's your, there's your ratings magic right there. I, I'll tell you one thing, we'd like to be in color. All right, right off the top of my head. What do you think, Larry, color? Let's do it. I don't, I don't want to break the bank here, but think about it. If I think about my years at NBC, what I'll miss most, uh, I guess the, the back rubs from Irving R. Levine. And I spoke to uh, Mr. Carson on Sunday. What did he say? He said, stop calling me. <laughs> Let me remind you one thing. The, the sooner we finish up, the sooner we get snacks. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Nice chatting with you. That, oh. uh, that went on for about a half an hour last night, and it was really, really funny. Why can't all the news conferences be that way that we cover? They never are. Howard Stringer likened it to uh, William Paley bringing Jack Benny to the CBS television network many, many, many 40 some odd years ago or whatever it was. And because CBS is number one in prime time and CBS is number one in daytime, why not number one in late night? So that's why they decided to hire David Letterman. And that's why you were in such hot pursuit of him last night at the news conference. It's well, not easy to get an interview with David Letterman. No, right it's now. not. So I dogged him. After the news conference yesterday, I grabbed David for a quick chat. So, what was the ultimate thing? In what sense? That made you want to come to work here? 
Um, you know, this whole thing started about a year and a half ago, and in, in that period of time, many opportunities, some real, some supposed, uh, were suggested and discussed. And uh, two things, I, I want to try a show at 11.30, and uh, I just can't imagine a better place to do that now than CBS. Uh, the, the people here have uh, shown so much support and, and so much patience uh, through this procedure, and uh, you, you'd have to be silly not to consider uh, coming to CBS. Why is 11.30 important? Well, I mean, from the practical standpoint, I started doing the, the 12.30 show when I was in my early 30s. And, and you know, 11 years later, I'm in my mid-40s. Um, you know, I've, I've grown up, and uh, I, just, I just think you, you have to kind of present yourself in, in the right context. And, uh, you know, it, it, 12.30 was great for me, and I love it, and I, and I wouldn't change a thing that happened. But it's just, you know, let's try something else. What kinds of assurances did CBS give you? What did they say that made you think, this is, I don't know if safe is the word, or the right place to do this. Well, I'll tell you, just a few minutes ago, uh, Larry Tisch came up to me, put his arm around my shoulder, and said, don't screw it up, son. So there, you can't ask for more than that, can you? Nice to see you. So, so uh, another important question. Did you quiz him on the name of our show? You know, Harry and I have been on his show a number of times at the other network, and he has sort of trouble with CBS this morning. Mm -hmm. Do you think he'll get it right now? now Believe it or not, Paula, that was not particularly <laughs> high on his priority list last night. But we certainly, uh, Entertainment Tonight came up and asked me, you know, what, what, what does it mean to us? And it could mean a lot to us. His success has a lot to do with... Uh, our continuing explosion in the ratings. Absolutely. So we're, we're excited Because people tune in late at night yeah. uh, are more likely to be tuned in early in the morning. Now, last night, among the top ten reasons he gave on a show for coming to CBS, CBS had the best Amy Fisher movie. That seems good rationale. Another one I liked. It makes sense, since I'm already commuting with Andy Rooney. <laughs> <laughs> good, Dave. And uh, head CBS... Tales, CBS. Can I tell you, at the beginning, he said, people, somebody said, well, are you going to bring the rest of the staff? And he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then 20 minutes later, somebody said, what about Paul? And his answer to that, which is unsayable on television, was something along the lines of, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, him. At which point, he turned to Larry Tish and said, so we have a little extra for Paul. And Larry just laughed. And you know, we understand that everyone's coming along, and the show will debut in August. Out of New York or out of L.A.? That's the big question. Still to be determined. Welcome, David Letterman. Thanks for watching, Cleveland Live Music. It's awfully bright out here. I'd click on another one of my videos. Quit looking into the sun. Your mother told you not to do that. Please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel more, there's GoFundMe and Patreon information in the video descriptions. Ooh. Ooh!